Cruise interest rate is one of the best current account perks that I've seen in a really long time. But the question is, does this one feature do too much heavy lifting? But what is essentially a pretty basic current account? Let's see if Crew can actually compete with the likes of Starling or Monzo when we take everything into account. Crew's USP is that it offers 4.35% interest on the money in your current account, which is calculated daily and it's paid into your account on the first of every month. Some context around that interest rate. So most of the banks are only offering an interest rate on separate savings accounts or pots. And the ones that do offer an interest rate on current account balances don't come anywhere near cruise rate. So if we do a little comparison, Starling Bank, for example, offers 3.25% and Chase only offers 1% on current account balances. So it's really only when we start looking at savings accounts that the interest rates can really compete with Crew. Monzo offers up to 4.6% on its instant access saver, but to actually get that higher rate, you do need to upgrade to a perk or a max plan and those do come with a monthly fee, so perk is £7 a month and max is £17 a month. Otherwise, Monzo's rate is 4.1%. Chaser Saver also offers just 4.1%. Um, one of the highest rates at the moment that we're seeing is 7%, and that is on First Direct's regular saver. But the caveat with the regular saver versus like an instant access is that you have to leave your money in that account for the whole year to get that full 7% rate. And you can only put £300 a month in that account, whereas Crew offers a solid 4.35% on balances up to £500,000. And because it's in your current account, you can access your money whenever and however you like. Speaking of things you like, if you are enjoying this video, give us some love below or subscribe to the channel for more content and reviews like this. So Crew is essentially offering an interest rate on current account balances that matches and even beats a lot of the rates on savings accounts at the moment. Interest rates have been an interesting topic over the last few years, especially as banks don't necessarily have to raise their rates when the Bank of England base rate goes up. And there was a time when the base rate was going up and up and some banks didn't change their rates or they only put them up slightly, which left customers with kind of a bad taste in their mouth and feeling like the bank wasn't really looking after them. I think this is really important when we go through these tricky times that we feel like our banking provider has actually got our back. This is what Crew is trying to do. And they aim to do this by making their interest rate a tracker rate. Now, tracker rates are typically associated with mortgages. That may be where some of you have heard that term before. And it really just means that the rate moves in relation to the Bank of England base rates. Crew have set their tracker rate at just 0.9% below the Bank of England's base rate. So whatever the base rate is, Crew's rate will always be just 0.9% below that. Obviously, this is great when the base rate is going up, but you also have to take the good with the bad. If the base rate goes down, cruise rate will also come down. I would say this isn't actually as bad news as you think it might be, because the reality is, if the base rate does come down, most other banks will reduce their rates too. So the benefit of cruise tracker rate is the transparency. You're always gonna know what rate you get. And unlike other banks, you're not just getting an arbitrary rate that the bank has decided while trying to max out their profit margins. Crew is trying to you know, really rail against what they call the profit extraction model of traditional banks, which is why its tracker rate is the key feature they're pushing as a way to give more back to the customer. And I think it really does achieve this, not only with the high rate, but also with that transparency. I still have my salary paid into a traditional high street bank current account. And then I mainly use my digital challenges for organizing my spending money and sorting out stuff into savings pots. With Crew, uh, you probably want to have everything paid into that account to make the most of the interest rate. Fortunately, Crew does have pots so that you can still separate and organize your money within the app. It's not just going to be in one big giant pot of money. Well, hopefully giant, that'd be lovely. Um, and the interest rate applies to all of your pots as well. It might be helpful to know that at the moment, Crew isn't part of the current account switch service. So if you want this account, you will have to do a manual transfer of all of your direct debits and all of that stuff. Crew is, however, a fully licensed bank protected by the financial services compensation scheme. So your money is as safe as it would be with a traditional current account. However, it is worth highlighting here that um, 
while you can earn interest on funds up to £500,000, only £85,000 of that would be protected by the FSCS. So how much is Crew going to cost you? Essentially, Crew is free to use with no account fees and no fees for spending abroad. ACM withdrawals are free in the UK, but there is a limit on cash withdrawals of £300 per calendar month, both in the UK and abroad. Typically with Crew, their ATM withdrawals abroad are free up to 200 quid, after which you'll be charged a 3% fee. But at the moment, they have an offer on where you'll get free ATM withdrawals abroad up to the £300 limit. And this is until the 31st of October 2024, but they have previously extended this offer. So who knows, they might extend it again, or it could be an ongoing offer even after that deadline. Cruise fee structure is fairly standard. Most digital challenges also have no account fees or fees to use abroad. Starling, for example, has no fees on ATM withdrawals in the UK or abroad with a daily limit of £300. Monzo is similar, but it has a limit on free cash withdrawals of £400 every 30 days in the UK and uh, in countries in the European economic area. So if you are someone who likes to carry cash, potentially Monzo could be a better card because you get a high limit with that card. And really, those are the key fees and charges you need to know about. If you do want to know more and really get into the nitty gritty, you can click here and follow the link below to read our full crew review on finder.com. In terms of what else Crew has to offer, if an overdraft or a loan is important to you, Crew probably isn't going to be the right account for you. Because these features, they are available to apply for in the app, but applications are by invite only. So there's no guarantee that you'll be offered one when you sign up. Crew also promises to plant two trees for every new customer that signs up, which is great, but does feel a little bit random. I can see how their goals around transparency and trying to make banking better for customers feels very aligned with their tracker interest rate. But the tree planting feels a little bit like an aside to me. Personally, this initiative, it wouldn't be the one feature that would make me want to sign up to crew over another app. But what it is, is a good indication of where the bank's heads at in terms of sustainability and future green initiatives. Speaking of the future too, uh, Crew recently did a round of investment funding and hit their target by 200%, which feels like a really good sign for the future of the bank and maybe some potential new features. Crew has a lot of social values at the heart of its messaging, whether it's trying to improve the planet or make banking a more transparent, trusting place for the consumer. So I'm genuinely interested to see what new features they come out with and whether those new features really do continue to support the ethos of the company. Crew, crew, crew. This banking app genuinely surprised me. I think Crew's 4.35% interest rate on current account balances is not only a genuinely useful perk that isn't gratuitous and isn't just sort of just trying to suck customers in. But the rate itself genuinely matches most instant access savings accounts. And the fact that it's a tracker rate keeps everything super transparent and genuinely seems to align with Crew's goals to be the first bank that people love and that people trust. You gotta dream big. In theory, with this account, you wouldn't need a separate savings account as you can organize your savings into pots and still earn the same interest on everything in the app. This could be great for someone who doesn't want to faff around by having multiple banking apps doing loads of different things. When our banking expert, Kate Steer, reviewed Crew against its own aims and other similar apps on the market, she gave it a four out of five. Downsides and potentially part of the reason that Crew didn't score higher are that this banking app is feature light. So Crew does not have roundups. It doesn't have any rewards like cashback. There are no premium accounts you can sign up to or additional features like investing options, which you do get with apps like Monzo, for example. And those overdrafts and the loans, while they are available, they're only available by invitation only. I really think that Crew would be ideal for someone who wants to keep life simple when it comes to their banking app. With Crew, you don't need to open a separate savings account or frankly, move your money at all. 
Um, you don't even have to use those separate pots if you don't want to. You'll get the same savings account level interest rate across everything. And sure, a lot of people use digital challenger banks just for their everyday spending. And you could use Crew for the same thing. But you will get more out of that interest rate if you're, say, having your whole salary or putting the bulk of your cash into Crew and storing it in your Crew account every month. Thanks for checking out our review, guys. If you want more videos like this one, have a little click around here, subscribe to the channel and give us some love below. See you next time.